1978 the very first state law anywhere in this nation to establish a tax credit, state tax credit, for solar and wind was my legislation. Within a year, your industry, your industry put wind turbines on the Altamont Pass. Some of those turbines are still going. A few months later, the, the uh, solar thermal system was built in the Mojave Desert. 30 years later, those two programs are still producing energy and they'll probably continue for another 30 years. Renewable energy is real, it is critically important, and what's going on across the street is absolutely the wrong way to go. There is nothing in that energy legislation that has anything to do with renewables. It's oil and more oil, and it's more carbon in the atmosphere, and it is a serious, serious problem. So we need to be sure that we continue to push many different ways to do renewables. But one of the most important ways that has to be there is the continuity of the benefits and of the tax credits. You cannot start and stop this industry as has happened over the last 30 years and expect it to succeed. Understand that the oil industry has had their subsidies for more than 100 years and in the process has created the wealthiest industry in this world. We can do the same with renewables. If we are determined and if we are consistent and if the programs that get these multiple ways of dealing with renewable energies up and moving, that's your goal, that's my goal, that ought to be this nation's goal. Carry on, let's get it done.